Maybe months. It will in the end, I promise you. How is it? Will you please, for God's sake, shut up now? Sorry. I got to think how I'm going to get through the next half hour. Yes, of course. I'm not going to go to Chalakum. Someone else will have to identify her. I don't want to see what the lorry... What the lorry did to her. If you could stand it, or... or Harry's, I would be most grateful. Yeah, I'm, I'm going for a walk on the moor. Better to stay and have a drink? No. I used to walk a lot when I first came here. It, it helped then. Tell Ellie. And to Harry's when he gets back. Look, let me come with you. No! I've got to get away now, for God's sake, please! Go back to the school. I'm fine. I'm sorry to have to say this, Howard. I don't like to criticize a man who's been here as long as you have, but I take a very poor view of your part in this. That's your privilege, Headmaster. And don't go all professional on me, Howard. This is dreadful. What would you do in his place? I find it hard to imagine myself in his place. Yes, you do. Oh, you do. That's just the trouble. But if I were, I think I should probably do what's usually called something silly. Knowing that, you let him go? Damn it, man, I don't choose to defend myself. PJ's his own man. What I said to him is entirely between him and me. I don't think I convinced him. I hardly convinced myself. You may see human life as a sacred trust. I see it rather as something to be got through with as little self-contempt and misery as possible. Pretty insupportable at the best of times. If Pilot Jones has chosen to put an end to himself, that's entirely his own decision. I respect his dignity. I don't think you do. That's hysterical nonsense, and you know it. It's exactly what I mean, and I stand by it. If you want my resignation, you can have it. I don't need to work here. No, 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 no. I'm sorry, Howard. I'm, I'm sure you did the best you could. It's just such a terrible business. You see, I have a particular feeling for young Pilot Jones. I feel responsible for him in a way. I talked him into coming here. I, I feel responsible. He's responsible for himself. I hope he is. I hope he is. Shall I get back to my house then, Headmaster? No, 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 no. We mustn't leave things like this. Stay and have some tea. Stay and have a drink. Please. You wouldn't happen to have any gin, would you, Headmaster? No! Nothing to do with you. Go on, oh, go on. everything I brought. When I was humping it all up here, I thought I'd brought too much. But I've used everything now.
I'm sorry about giving you all the trouble. I didn't think about people having to look for me. Are you soaked through? I was going to come back today. Till the storm. There wasn't any need to come looking. I'm not sorry I came up here anyway. Do you think they'll kick me out now? Do you think they will, sir? Give me the sack. I wasn't even looking for you. I... I'd forgotten about you. You were lost, sir, weren't you? Why were you? What did you come up here for, then? I don't know. There was an accident this morning. My wife and the two little girls were killed. starting back. I've been thinking. We can make it to Witherbridge across the shoulder before it gets dark. There'll be a phone there at the post office. If you ring the school, when they send transport for us and pick us up. I'm not going back. Oh. Well, you better get going if you want to make it in the daylight. Well, what are you waiting for? Don't stay here, sir. You can't just stay here. I can do what I damn well like, boy. Now, please, get out and leave me alone. I can't, sir. Don't worry about me. I'm scared, sir. What? You've got to come with me. You've been here on your own for two days. You've been perfectly all right, enjoying yourself while... I know. I'm sorry. But I've run out of spunk now. I knew nobody could find me here. But all the time I was sort of imagining that in the end someone would come and take me back. And then you did turn up. And well, I've run out of spunk, sir. You've got to take me back. Will you, sir? Oh, it's a terrible business. I say it's a damn shame. Shocking. Don't you think? Your gift for stating the obvious never ceases to amaze me, Carter. My God, you're a cool one, Howarth. I don't know another man who could sit there calmly marking essays after a thing like that. The essays have to be marked. Life, in a sense, goes on. What would you have me do, Carter? Sarcastic swine. I mean... I've never had all that much time for Pauly Jones. I make no secret of that. But a tragedy like that, it doesn't bear thinking of. Who identified the bodies? I went over to Chalicum with the head. That must have been a messy business. My God, I don't envy you that little job. Thank you, Carter. And where's Pauly Jones now? I don't know. I mean to say, he's never been all that stable. I was very surprised when Algie appointed him in the first place. He's very highly strung, quite unbalanced about the war. A thing like this. Maybe months. It will in the end, I promise you. How is it? Will you please, for God's sake, shut up now? Sorry. I got to think how I'm going to get through the next half hour. Yes, of course. I'm not going to go to Chalakum. Someone else will have to identify her. I don't want to see what the lorry... What the lorry did to her. If you could stand it, or... or Harry's, I would be most grateful. I'm, I'm going for a walk on the moor. 
Better to stay and have a drink? No. I used to walk a lot when I first came here. It, it helped then. Tell Ellie. And to Harry's when he gets back. Look, let me come with you. No.